am here to tell you about my native country, India. So, I would like to tell you, like in Russia, in, in Ukraine, you say Zdrashvichin, in our country, it is called Namaskar. 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 And we say it like this, Namaskar. Namaste. Namaste. First of all, I would like to tell you about our Indian flag. Our Indian flag was proposed in 1921 and it is consists of three colors, the saffron, white and green color. Every color has their own importance in the flag. The saffron color is for courage. It's for courage of our Indian freedom fighters. Our India was ruled by Britishers that, and after that we got independence on 15th August 1947. Our, our freedom fighters play a very important role and due to their courage, we got independence. The white color is for peace and the green is for jewelry. In the center you see a circle. It is called Ashok Chakra and it is for the development of our nation. It consists of 24 spokes in the Ashok Chakra. It's, it shows that our country is developing. Now, in India, you can see 28 states in India and 7 Indian territories, 8,000 8, villages, 5,100 towns and 20 crore cities. Here you see the, uh, another country, Bangladesh. It was before a part of India, but after the treaty, is, it was get separate. And also the Pakistan, it was also the part of India. But due to Muslims, it gets separated from India because they want a different nation. Then I would like to tell you about geographical information. India is the seventh largest country in the world. And the third largest country in our continent, Asia. So, the coastline of India is 7,517 kilometers. That coastline. And surrounded by two oceans. Indian Ocean, you can see Indian Ocean and the Arabian Ocean. This, the, here are the holy rivers of India. Ganga and Yamuna. These two are the holy rivers. This fall in the Bay of Bengal. And here, the Chana, Jhelum, Ravi and Sukhar. These are, these are the names of river. Here is one more river, the Bias River. These five rivers form a combination here. And that state is called Punjab. Because it is called Punjab because these five rivers meet here. And in India, we call five parts. That's why the state Punjab is called Punjab. Because, this five, because of this combination of this five rivers, Punjab is called that. These are our national symbols. The tiger is our, it's our national animal, national bird, peacock. This is our national emblem. It has Ashok Chakra in the center and four lions. The fourth one is that side. It's not visible in this because it's 2D, not 3D. Sorry for that. The lotus, it's our national flower. Freedom. The light on the freedom. I would like to tell you that India got freedom in 1947 on 15th August after an historic struggle of our freedom fighters. Britishers ruled over India from 1757 to 1947. They ruled a very long time over India, but because of our freedom fighters, we got independence finally on 15th August. These are our freedom fighters: Bhagat Singh, Mahatma Gandhi, and Subhash Chandra Bose. They started many much more events to make our country out of, uh, to make our country independent. They started these rebellions, Indian rebellion and the formation of Congress. These are the Satyagrahas and also you can say movements to make our country independent. Then I would like to tell you that India is the second largest agriculture country in the world. Here you see the major crops of India. This is wheat. Everyone of know, everyone of you know about this wheat, paddy crop, hair mustard, and uh, sunflower and mustard and sugar cane. I would like to tell you that India is the largest producer of sugar cane in, in, in Asia. And we have the largest sugar mill in Asia, in India. The largest sugar mill of India is in of Asia is in India. And it is and it is in my state, Haryana, the largest mill of Asia. Now, maybe you have heard about this, the seven wonders of world. It's coming, uh, it's Taj Mahal. It's coming seven wonders. Might be you have already heard about this. I would like to tell you that it was made by 
it was commissioned by Shah Jahan. It was made because of his lovable wife Muntaj Mahal. It is named after his, uh, his lovable wife Muntaj Mahal. That is why it is called Taj Mahal. And this is Kutub Minar. It is 120 meter high, 120 meter long, and it is made up of iron carvings. Its walls are made up of iron carvings. All are. It was recommissioned by Tughlaq, and these two are built after it was constructed fully. And now, Lotus Temple. It is listed in the wonders of India because it's because of its shape. It has a shape like flowers. It is shaped like a lotus flower. In it, even a small noise can be very much loud, so no one speaks inside the temple. It is open for all religions, or it is open for everyone. Whether it does not depend on any religion or anything, it is open for everyone. Now, I'd like to tell about you, tell you about Chaminar. It has no reason why it was built. It was just built by some king, but they don't know the reason why they built it. They built it without any reason. Then I'd like to write Havaman. It is, in, it is situated in Jaipur, Rajasthan. It is a state of India, Rajasthan, the largest state. It was built because the king don't want the royal women that anyone could see them. He built this so that only the royal women can see the outside view. They, they are not visible to any other except them. It was connected to the, to the Kila, to their Kila or you can say kingdom from behind. And after the Sun Temple, here you can see the Sun Temple. It is listed in the wonders because the first ray of sun, after, uh, after falling everywhere, the first ray of sun fall in this and after that to the all country. And then is India Gate. It is built in the memory of 82,000 soldiers that were died in the First World War. And Red Fort, maybe you have seen this in, in newspaper or any other things because it, uh, our leaders gave speech here on Independence Day, on uh, Independence Day and uh, Republic Day also. It was also built by Shah Jah. They lived there for 200 years. For 200 years they made it their kingdom and after that when Mughals left this, then it came under the uh, service of government. Here is the Indian, Indian culture. Indian culture. In India there are 28 states and every state has their own culture and their own traditions, their own uh, clothes, many elements of our culture, many elements of our culture like uh, our clothes, our, uh, I would like to use paper, such as Indian religions, our philosophy and Indian cuisine have a profound about impact across the world. Indian culture have been heavily influenced by Dharmic religions. These are the major religions of India. You can see Hinduism, Muslim, and Sikh and Christians. The major religion is Hinduism. Hinduism is about 80% in India and the Muslims are only 14.2% and the Sikhism is 1.7% and the Christians, they are only 2.3%. These are the major festivals, Holi, Dipavali, the Shara, Eid. Holi, it is the color of festivals. On this festival, we throw colors over each other and, and enjoy um, trying each other, uh, colors on each other. We celebrate this festival because on the uh, we celebrate this festival as a evil was killed by our God. Evil was killed by our God. That's why we celebrate. And Diwali, it is the uh, festival of uh, lights. We say, we decorate our homes and our places with lights or candles and celebrate this festival. We also use crackers on this festival. On this festival, it was celebrated because our god Vishnu take up tar and become Rama. He killed. He uh, went back to home when he killed uh, a devil named. You have, maybe you have listened, Rahul. He killed that devil and returned home. The Shara. It is. It was the day when Ram killed Rama. After that, he uh, he was on the he was he lived in forest for 14 years to kill that devil. After that, he. Everyone of know maybe Eid about Eid. It is the 
festival of Muslims because in, in our country Muslims are also there so it is also the major festival of India. It is the end of Ramadan. They celebrated it as an enjoyment for the end of the Ramadan. It is as a uh, new year for them. Languages in India. There are 415 languages in India. Because of many states, it is the largest, seventh largest country. That's why we have 415 languages. But only two registered languages are Hindi and English. Hindi is our national language. But the second language is English. So we can talk about each other because so many languages we can't remember. 450 languages we can't remember everywhere. So we use English to talk to other states, to talk in other states. Other languages include like Gujarati, Marathi, Tamil, Telugu, Urdu, Sanskrit, Punjabi, and many more. Punjabi, Punjab, it's a, it is spoken in Punjab. Gujarat in Gujarati in Gujarat and Marathi in Maharashtra, Tamil in Tamil Nadu. According to states, they have their own language. The clothing of India. Every state has different culture and different clothes. I am here. I wear today Punjab uniform. This is Punjabi uniform I have wear. It is called Kurta and it is Punjab I am wear. I also have a more Punjabi dress. It is called Bhoti. It is where downside and this is kurta. Kurta. It is a jacket beer over the that I have beard like this. It is a jacket over beer we wear over the kurta. And this is a traditional cap. I would like to tell you the amazing facts about India. India is the largest democratic country and the second largest importer of arms and the largest producer of milk. Fastest growing IT sector is in India. India is the second largest armed force. India has second largest armed forces. After America, we have the strongest army of India. It is hard to summarize about India, but I tried my level best. So now I would like to stop my conversation and would like you to watch the video about India. Please be. It is called Mandi.
person for the good life of their husband. Freedom fighter Mahatma Gandhi, C. V. Raman. He won the Nobel Prize for Physics. Indian cricketer Sachin Tendulkar. These are the actors, Bollywood actors. New Delhi is the capital of India.